What's up, gold diggers? Kimberly Olsen here, coming in live. Looks like my lighting's a little crazy. Let me see if I can fix that. It's so funny because Facebook's little filters are not working right now, and they're not working on your business page, business pages. So how about that? So I just fixed it. I think it looks a little more fun to be bright and fresh, right? So we're gonna talk about my secrets. I've never ever shared this before, okay, you guys? So. Put myself out there a little bit but I thought you know what this year has been transformative most of you I see Missy's been on here she's been here with me since the beginning a lot of you guys saw a huge transformation for me a year ago I was working full-time was in debt really wanted to make things happen wasn't happening and I've done some things some amazing things for myself personally and professionally and I want to share with you exactly what I did oh Tanya it's so nice to see you on on here I have your, your picture you sent me, the beautiful thing I was just looking at the other day. I'm like, oh, I miss you, girlfriend. So message me, tell me how you're doing. Anyways, put one in the comments if you're watching this live, put two if you're watching the replay. If you're new and you've never seen my videos before, welcome. I do a lot of Facebook live trainings. So make sure we connect, maybe message me and say, hey, Kimberly, and I'll get you on my email list and you can make sure to get my recaps. If you share this, put share in the comments. I'm gonna shout you out. This would be great to share for anybody you know who wants to make more money, they want more happiness, they wanna just feel better, they wanna get their mindset right. Probably business-minded people, entrepreneurs, you know, maybe they uh, just want a part-time hustle or they wanna build an empire. Everybody can benefit from this information, okay? You just invited your sister, what's her name? How fun, I wanna say hi to your sister. That's so cool. Okay, so the five things I did, these are my secrets to reveal massive success. Make sure you stay to the end, by the way, because I've got a couple of announcements for some things going on. And if you have to pop off, put link in the comments before you pop off, because then um, the lovely money chat will come find you <laughs> and share with you what's going on. But I want to tell you guys the ins and outs and the details of that. Okay. Oh, let's see. Okay, cool. I'll look for her. All right. Number one. First of all, you guys tell me in the comments, how, what, tell me a little bit about your goals. Put a little emoji in there. Put a descriptive word. It could be power, fire. I wanna feel peace. I wanna feel um, like a badass. You could put some hearts, some likes. Oh, Nicole, I have you on my to-do list. I'm gonna message you today. So put something in there so I can see how you're feeling, the connection you are making with what you wanna create in your life, okay? You've gotta have some fire in your belly, okay? If you're gonna stay up late, you're gonna get up early, you're gonna stay focused, can I get an amen? I think focus is the biggest challenge for entrepreneurs. If you are committed to doing that, you guys, you gotta have that fire, that oomph, that drive, that goal, and say, I am gonna crush it, I'm gonna go for it, this is my year. If that's your year, I'm gonna be here along with the way, along the way for you, let's rock it, as Lisa says. Yes, I want to rock 2019. You guys, I rocked 2018, I'm gonna share with you how right now. I'm gonna freaking destroy 2019. And you guys are coming along with the ride with me. We're all doing this together, okay? We leave no man behind, no boss babe, girl boss behind, okay? Here's my five things. Number one is I stopped being afraid. I know, profound, right? I stopped being afraid, okay? What I did is I truly conquered the voice in my head that kept telling me to be afraid. It was telling me to play small, okay? Thank you for sharing, Anna. Yay, okay, awesome, thank you so much. That voice of doubt, okay, so let me give you an example. Before this year, before 2018, when I would think of a topic to talk about in life, this little voice was like, no, that's dumb, nobody's gonna wanna hear about that. Or I would think, I wanna do Facebook Lives, I wanna teach people, and then that little voice was like, yeah, but what do you, what do you have to tell anybody? You haven't even built a huge business yet with your network marketing, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? 2018, when that voice would pop in my mind, I would say to it, I would I would stop it. Okay, so when it would pop in my mind, I'm like, no, that's not true. I would just say it out louder into my head if you know there's people around. I'm like, no, that's not true. Or I would say, I would just push it out, like you know what I'm talking about? Like you get that mind, you're like, no, no, no. And I would just I would just push through the fear and I would stop doubting myself. And so what I would do is when I was afraid, I'm religious, like meaning I, I was raised Catholic, I'm not that type of religious. I believe in God, so you can have your own beliefs, it doesn't matter to me, but we can all agree there's a higher being and there's something that got us here. And I would tell myself, you know what, you're 38, I'm gonna be 39 in a couple weeks, just so you guys know, just preparing everybody. And I would say to myself, you've been through some really bad stuff. Okay, you've had, a, you've had a pretty crazy life and you've gotten through all of it and you turned out okay. And look at this beautiful family you have. Look at this amazing opportunity you have. And I would talk to myself like that. Okay, I would say, God has gotten me. He's gonna get me this year, okay? So I bought a journal and the word on it said faith. 
and I wrote in that journal every single day and I looked at that word and I said, I have faith. So the first thing I did is I stopped playing small. I stopped saying I wasn't good enough. I stopped saying, who am I to turn, turn around and teach you guys about network marketing when I'm brand new with network marketing? Who am I to come in here and you know create all these things? Like I don't even know what the heck I'm doing, okay? Number two is that I got crystal clear on what I wanted. So whenever I, I do coaching with people, the first session, I'm like, tell me a little bit about you and what you want to accomplish. And, and they'll be like, well, I don't know. I just want to, you know, make some money. Okay. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Let's get super clear on what you want because this is what happens. You don't even know what you want. You, you're dissatisfied. You're stressed out. You don't like your day job. You maybe are feel like you wish you had money to pay cash for a vacation. Christmas just came. You don't like the feeling of, oh, we shouldn't have spent that much, right? You know what you don't want, but have you stopped to think about what you do want? Okay, what I did is I got crystal clear on what I wanted. I have my vision board. I have a freaking vision book, vision binder. I have a vision movie. I have a vision screen on my freaking cell phone. I have quotes. I mean, I got it all, okay? I wrote down in my journal every single day my new story. I recorded myself on my phone looking at myself of my new story. Hi, hey Kimberly, I'm so excited to tell you about how this month went. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I created this thing, I recruited these new people, they're awesome, they're so excited about the business, and I would record a new story. I know, it sounds crazy. It totally worked because I don't know what it was, but just by saying to my mind over and over again what I wanted to create, my mind was like, okay, let's go ahead and do that. And it just happened, okay? So your homework is to get crystal clear on what you want. What do you want? What do you want different in your life? Exactly what do you want? Speak it, your wish is your command. But are you making that command or are you just complaining? There's a big difference, okay? Number three, I got laser focused and I mastered one thing at a time. I'll repeat that. I got laser focused and I mastered one thing at a time. Let's think about this past year, okay? I had one stream of income, no two. I had my corporate job, which is not a stream of income anymore. So I had my corporate job income and I had my network marketing business a year ago, that was it. Now I have it on the board, I have 11 streams of income. How do I have 11 streams of income? Would you guys like a training on that by the way? I thought that would be really fun. How did I do that? Well, I didn't know anything about Instagram. So I said, okay, I'm gonna learn Instagram. I had a thousand followers or something, no action. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go and learn from everybody. I'm gonna take any course I can find. I'm gonna read all the books. I'm gonna watch all the trainings. I'm gonna figure it out. You guys don't know what I'm doing really late at night. I'm studying and learning things, okay? When my house is sleeping, you guys aren't blowing up my messenger. I love you all, but when it finally settles down, I can zone in and I freaking learn that stuff. And it's the one thing. I'm not trying to learn Pinterest and Instagram and trying to you know, do all these different things. So I learn one thing at a time, okay? One thing at a time. So what you wanna do is say, okay, what's the, what's the next piece of my business I need to master? Is it creating really great content? Then that's your MO. That's what you're gonna learn. Is it like, no, I really wanna get good at recruiting. Like I wanna learn, how do I actually like feel really comfortable with the whole process? Maybe you get a coach and have somebody help you, but you're gonna master one thing at a time, okay? Number four is I got a tribe, speaking of, of coaches, mentors, and leaders to learn from. I'm gonna post this on Instagram, Instagram tomorrow. It takes a village to raise an entrepreneur. Is that not true? I just heard that in that watch party I did yesterday and I was like, that is so funny. You guys, I have like an entourage of people. I have like several coaches. I have a therapist. I have a finance person. You guys know Anna is my virtual assistant. By the way, if you ever need any help with anything, even a one-off project, the girl is a freaking angel of, of magic. She runs my whole life. Like everything that you see happen, Anna's, Anna's the Wizard of Oz. She's in the background just like orchestrating the whole thing. So I have a tribe of people, okay, that, that are making this all happen. So get a tribe, who's your tribe? Who do you need in your corner? Do you, do you have some mentors, some coaches, some running buddies, right? Do you have some sideline sisters that can walk alongside you and hold you accountable and do this together? You gotta find your village, okay, your people. Number five is I took risks and I didn't stop to think what people, I didn't stop to see what people thought about it. I took big risks this year, you guys, okay? Number one risk was quitting my job scariest effing thing I've ever done in my entire life aside from pushing a baby out of my body. Two babies. Oh my gosh, quitting my job, like even just like like starting to say it out loud, it would like make me get in a cold sweat. Like I've been working for, since I was 13 years old, okay? We both have to have the income we have to live in the neighborhood we live in, have the house we have, have our girls in a private preschool, do all the things. Like it was not like, oh, 
I'm just gonna stop doing my, you know, my part-time Uber job. No, this was like a big deal, okay? And I said, all right, I gotta take some big risks this year, okay? What are those big risks that I could do? Launched a website without any content on it. I launched a brand without a freaking logo. It was like font. It looked like the goat digger girl. My brother was like, what the hell is that? I'm like, no, it's the gold digger girl. It's like genius. He's like, oh, I thought it said the goat digger girl. I'm like, yeah, that's me. I'm gonna freaking go start a farm in my backyard. Anyways, so we got a little thing to hash out there apparently. I published a book on Amazon and said I'm gonna get it on number one, never doing that. I didn't have a publisher helping me with that. Those are big risks, you guys. I was like, hey guys, it's gonna be number one. Let's go ahead and make that happen, okay? Again, I had my village of people to help me do that, right? And I said publicly, I'm not gonna teach people to cold message. Even though there are big players in this industry who do very well and they get results, I said, you know what? I'm afraid to say this because they're really big people. And I was like, no, I'm just gonna vocally start saying I'm not cool with people cold messaging. And I'm gonna train on that. I'm gonna teach my people how to do things differently. That was scary for me, right? So taking big risks, you guys know that there was a girl, there were girls in a, a group that somebody was screenshot sending me saying, calling me bad words. You know the C word? Remember that nasty word people used to say? Could you imagine seeing your name and people talking about you? People saying nasty things. Some girl messaged me and said I was mean-spirited. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's the opposite if you knew the amount of things I've gifted people over the years and all of that stuff. Some girl told me she had some makeup suggestions for me because my eyebrows were too close together. I mean, there's been some nasty stuff that has happened to me this year. Mostly all amazing. Mostly you guys messaging me saying, hey, I stumbled upon your video and because of it, I didn't quit my job. That's why I do this every single day. Me doing these videos isn't helping me build my network marketing business. That's not why I ever did it. It's because I truly have it in me to share. It's my spiritual gift, the gift of encouragement. I love teaching people. I do that because if there's one thing I can say in a video and it, it makes you think differently, it makes you keep going when you would, would have otherwise quit, I don't care about those people. I like my eyebrows, so you, you can just figure that one out for yourself. I don't care, okay? So this is a bonus tip. Stop caring about what other people think. If you wanna get on social media and you wanna do a Facebook Live, all you have to do is stop caring what people think. The reason why you're afraid to hit that go live button and you feel funny inside and you feel nervous and you feel sweaty is because you're worried about what people think. My, my family doesn't jump on here, they don't care. And if they did, I'm, they're like, I saw, them at, I saw them at a family thing a couple months ago and, and they're like, we've been watching you, we're, we're just railing around you, we love seeing you on there. I was so nervous to have my family see me sharing about our debt, right? All the debt, like I don't want my family knowing that kind of stuff, do you? But if you stop and stop caring, guess what happens? It gives every, everybody else permission to tell their story. It gives everybody else permission to be authentic and genuine and show up differently because the old way of doing things, we're done with that, you guys. It's 2019. Let's elevate the industry. Let's show people that we're all just moms or women or guys who are literally changing our family tree. We wanna get out of debt. We wanna be financially free. We wanna provide for our family. I am just like the girl who has the, the little boutique on Main Street and you go in there or that coffee shop and you're like, I'm gonna go have breakfast and have a quiche over there because I know that's gonna support her. That's who I am. When you buy from me, you're supporting my family. If you guys can show up that way on social media and we can all do it collectively, people won't roll their eyes when they see your posts. They're gonna go, oh cool, let me share her post. I really wanna help my girlfriend out. So that's the mission this year, guys. This year, you guys, is to really step up our game, stop playing small, stop being afraid, and just go after it. Like whatever you guys want, you can have it. I'm living proof. My life has completely changed in a year because I said, enough is enough. I've got big dreams. I'm clear on what I want. I'm gonna buckle down and put my nose to, head to the grindstone. I'm not looking up until I've gotten there, and I want you guys with me as well, okay? So if you're with me, let's do this. So to wrap it up, because I just get so fired up, I almost forgot what I was supposed to say. Put link in the comments if you wanna see what I have this month for January, okay? Coming up today, I just did a video in my group, Rockin' the Fab Life with Fit Kim. I've got a 30-day challenge, feeling fabulous challenge, starting January 7th, meal plans, recipes, workouts, so if you need to get healthier to help your life, go get in that group. January 10th is a Recruiting Like a Rockstar workshop, so if recruiting, you're like, yes, somebody show me the way, I got you covered. Come do my workshop. Just put link in the comments and many chat will message you. January 15th is my brand new 30 day 
Business Bootcamp. It's a four week crash course every network marketer needs for themselves and then they can turn around and teach their teams, you guys. It's the fundamentals. Gotta go back to the basics to duplicate that success, okay? So if you wanna do the Business Bootcamp, Module one is money and mindset. Module two is DMO and duplication. Module three is social media strategy. And we're gonna wrap it up with recruiting, obviously prospecting, recruiting, what to say to people, all that kind of stuff, okay? Business bootcamp. And then January 17th is a brand new selfies and story workshop. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to create your selfies. What? How do you share them in a way that's not you know, like, look at me, I'm so beautiful. I always joke around about that because that's what we feel like, right? So how do you use them in a way that's actually gonna leverage your, your what you're trying to do on social media? It's gonna help you build relationships, draw people to you using that attraction marketing and utilizing Facebook and Instagram stories, which are way more powerful than your newsfeed. If you don't know how to use those appropriately, you need to do that workshop, I'm just saying. And then I, this is behind the scenes, but I have somebody who helped me take my Instagram bootcamp and turn it into a course. So it's all pre-recorded. It's not something you jump into, it's done. You can just blow through the whole thing tonight if you wanted to. So if you want my Instagram bootcamp, there's four bonuses. So it's $300 or $400 total and you get it for $97. So if you're on my email list, check your, check your spam or your promotions folder, it should be in there. If you're not, check link and I'll see if it's in many chat. If not, I'll, I'll message you the link. You can opt in and check out all the details, but I'll show you how I went from 1,000 followers to 22,000. 400, not that I'm counting. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I have for you to, today. I'm gonna go over to my group, the Gold Diggers of Network Marketing. We are gonna talk about something great. I can't remember what it is, but it is it is ready to go. So that's coming up, I think in a few minutes, I'm gonna be over in there. So hop in my group if you're not in there, I'd love to invite you as well. So thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great day and cheers to making 2019 freaking awesome. I'll see you guys later, bye.